Hi, this is Gary Simonelli with G-Rock Recording. Today, I'm looking at the Waves CLA Mix Hub, the new plugin by Waves, of course, and a collaboration with Chris Lord LG. Um, it's a rendition of his mixing console, and to use it in your DAW, like he uses his console in his, his mix studio. Um, but anyway, um, I'm going to show what you need to do before you use it. There's a lot of videos you can see to, that reviews it and goes over and does an overview of how you do it and whatever. Um, but this is what I found that you have to do before you really can use it. So I'm using Studio One. And Studio One comes with a demo song, well, a couple of demo songs, but I picked this one. Um, Fat Funk is, I think, the name of the tune, and the artist is Fat Hat. And I'm sure you guys heard this before. Um, here, I'll play a little bit of it for you. No, no. That's a tune, and uh, what I'm going to talk about is what I had to do to get this tune ready to actually use that plug-in um, in this session. So you might have to come, you might come across this too if you use it with a client and trying something new. So in this song, in this demo song, what I had to do or what I did do. Here, I'll show you first the mixer. I set all the channels to Unity. So they're all just flat. And then, um, in some of the tracks, what I did was I combined certain elements. Like there was a separate right and left tom, or high tom, low tom, floor tom. And I bounced those to stereo track. So that's what I did there. And that's how I minimized the number of channels um, the project was using. Um, if you look down here in the percussion section, here I didn't. The claps were, uh, again, was a left and right channel. I combined them into a stereo track. Um, let me just go down. Bass was just a single channel. Keys was a um, an actual um, MIDI channel, so I just recorded, I just flattened it out, per se. Um, guitars, I left alone. Horns, I left alone because they were individual elements. I probably could have done the same thing. I left these alone. Um, background vocals, here I did combine. They had left and right vocals. Um, I combined them into stereo tracks to save um, resources. Um, the harmony tracks, as you can see, I did not do anything. I left them as is. Then, what you do is, well, that's my, that's my audio from talking now. Um, I put the, uh, the plug-in on each channel that I wanted to include. So all my drums, I, all the drums I put together, I put a, the plug-in on. So they're grouped into the drum bucket. If you watch other videos, they show you how to do this. Um, so I named all my, my buckets, as you call them. So I have drums and percussion, guitars and whatnot. And there you go. 
and if you've seen other videos, you know, okay, so if I look at the bucket view, I'm on the drum bucket, so you can hear, here's all my faders, so instead of using the faders in this mix, what you're going to do is you are going to use them in the plugin. Basically like this, I would listen to the drums and then I would move on to the other instruments just to get a basic mix, find out what was too loud, too soft, and that's what I did. And then you can see your inputs, how I trimmed them. Some I didn't even EQ, just a little bit here and there. Dynamics, tons of compression, and then levels. And that's basically what I did. You need to consolidate a little bit before you use this plugin because it's going to be um, way overwhelming and you won't be able to use it the way it's designed to be used. So there is some, some grunt work you have to do before you can actually use it. I don't have an assistant, I am the assistant. So that's what I did to use this plugin. So I hope that gave you a little bit of information and insight on using the um, CLA Mix Hub by Waves. Um, it's on it's on sale for sixty nine dollars. I picked one up myself. Uh, you should do the same. It's a it's actually a really neat little plugin. <laughs> the video i hope you liked it uh, leave comments and whatnot um, i'll leave some links to these other things that i discussed um, in the description uh, gary simonelli see you guys later